Thank you so much for listening to KNLW 98.9 FM. I'm Ken Quatran, and we are continuing our Share Fest. We are joined by Catherine Medin. She is the lead singer for the local band called Breakthrough. They are actually out of near Strand, but the Medin family is everywhere. They're universal. You have someone in Rochester, Winona. Winona Your mom and dad lives in Switzerland. I mean, you guys are everywhere. So it's an honor to be to have you here with us, and we've done a lot of work together with Breakthrough, and you guys have a huge, promising career ahead of you. I think you guys, you guys are very talented. You can feel the Holy Spirit in you when you guys are playing. Uh, you have such a great message when you're up on stage, and you guys have fun. And what, what's great is I love watching PJ, your brother. He yeah, just shreds. He shreds. I mean, he just makes just a bunch of noise. I mean, it well, sounds all really... Does all day. It's just on the guitar shredding upstairs. <laughs> he doesn't work. He just shreds all day. <laughs> but he is just an amazing guitar player. I'll date myself. He reminds me of an Eddie Van Halen. Oh, he'll but, that. But he's better. I mean, I can't imagine how fast he, he can do the do the fretboard. But I know. I can't even play a chord. And he can play, you know, 15 at the same time. And your, t and your family is just so musically talented. And I like how your other brother can switch and he'll take over bass and PJ will take over lead guitar. And then you have another sister. So it's a big Medine family. And you guys were just recently on the Extreme Tour. Yes. And again, KNLW reached out and uh, you guys said you needed help finding a place for a, a show. And it's again, it, it's a part of the radio station's heart to help people. And uh, we were able to find you guys a concert venue in Casson. Yeah, thank you very much, by the way, for that. I don't know if I ever sent you a letter or no, anything, but no, nobody it's placed okay. it live. I got, the, I got the wave and that's good enough for me. <laughs> But uh, you guys really have a bright future ahead of you, and uh, whatever you guys are doing, uh, we're proud to be a, a part of it. And it was a no-brainer for us to ask you, uh, you know, to come represent as a band. You know, I wanted to have the whole family here, but obviously they have jobs. Yeah. And uh, you were just lucky with your schooling; you had today off. Yeah. So praise God that the uh, the schedules did work out to at least have you come and represent Breakthrough, and. Um, what do you want to do right now? Do you want to do maybe a praise and worship song that everyone recognizes? Or yeah, do you want I think to, so. Why don't we start off with that, and then we'll do something that uh, you guys have done with Breakthrough. You also told me like you're going to be coming out with maybe your uh, your own CD away from Breakthrough. My own CD? No, not well. Um, I, I thought might, you said you were writing. I might record a few things for myself. Okay, um, okay. Just just to be able to work it through with Breakthrough. I write a lot of softer things. Um, not exactly the same style as Breakthrough, but I worked those together with the rest of Breakthrough. And what genre would you consider Breakthrough? Uh, we're a mixture of a lot of things. We pretty much play anything. Well, um, if you're wondering about Breakthrough, obviously you can find them online, and their CDs are actually at Christian Book and Gift. I've seen yeah. them. When I'm looking around through the red section and all the harder stuff you guys are right there in the local section. So, Catherine Medine from Breakthrough, thank you so much for blessing us today. And uh, go ahead. Thank you. You're welcome. <laughs> so we are, we are again recording all this stuff. Um, PJ, I think he's he considered the CEO or the, the head guy for Breakthrough. Yep. He's been on Facebook just making sure I, everything's going okay. I'm like, everything's fine, we're recording. I'm like, how am I supposed to answer him on Facebook when I'm playing keyboard? I can't multitask. He's like, Ken, more importantly, are they recording the audio? I'm like, dude, I have no clue what's going on. I'm so technically ignorant, it's unbelievable. <laughs> So, Pastor Bob is saying, no, we are not. So, anyway. Well, at least we got it on video. That's right. Rest assured, it's, it's on video. So, uh, that was just beautiful. Beautiful. And uh, uh, did you want to do one of your original songs? Maybe a breakthrough song? Yeah. Whatever floats your boat. Yeah, this is a breakthrough song. It's actually going to be on our next album uh, when we record it. It's called The Drought. And I wrote it um, because this year especially our band, um, not just as a band but as individuals, we all had a very rough time. It's like we were being put through a drought um, and just didn't feel like we were being filled back up again because, you know, drought, you're going without water and everything's not getting watered, nothing's really growing. And that's just what it felt like. But um, Was there something specifically going on at the time? All personal battles, work? All personal battles. Um, I don't know, I can't. It's all stuff that's that's so personal that... I understand that. I'm, I'm just saying. Yeah. Um, yeah, we all just went, um, especially PJ, Sean, and I um, went through these things. So I have verses in there that are for each of us specifically that I just hope... You know, we know that other people, that we're not the only people who are going through all of these hardships. And mm -hmm. so I wanted to write a song that would really reach out to other people and um, 
not to know that we go through this too, but but we need to give it over to God. Right. Yeah. Exactly. And you know, we were never promised a perfect life. Yeah. And we all know what Christ went through. And the beauty of it is, is even when you're in that deep valley, you're in that trough, the depression, the, the fighting, work stinks, I'm not getting along with my wife or my boyfriend or my girlfriend, the deeper and deeper it goes, you know he's with you and he'll pull you out. Yeah. And the great thing is when you get out, you're stronger and your heart's stronger and your mind is much stronger and you're closer to him. Yeah. And that draws you even more to him. So I know some people put him up on a bookshelf and when they're in that trough, then they'll reach up to them. And then when they get out of it, they put them back on the shelf. You're just so much better of a person just to constantly rely on, look, I know this is miserable. I'm struggling financially right now really bad. I'm fighting with whoever. Work stinks. But, you know, there isn't a light at the end of the tunnel. It's Christ, and he'll get us through this. Yeah. Yeah, so the, the main words of this are, um, are, though I'm damaged from the drought, I am yours. Just constantly reminding yourself and telling God, I'm giving myself up to you no matter what I'm going through right now, no matter if I feel like you're here right now, because you always are. I'm, I'm giving myself up to you. No, the words aren't on my mouth, and I can't exactly explain how I feel about this. I am yours, God, because you know how I feel. So this song is called The Drought. They're in my face. They said to stop believing in visions and faith. Because God will not come through. Hold me close and guard me just for safety. I'm in your hands. I'm weak and I am praying. God, please take this now. I am yours. Though I'm damaged from the drought, I am yours. Though the words are on my mouth, I am yours. Though my heart is inside out, I am yours. That was awesome. Hearing hearing you play the keyboard like that, it, it's, I was just like closing my eyes and just envisioning what we were just talking about and just seeing going through the through that trough, through that depression, trying to claw your way out, and the mesmerizing sound of the keyboard, dun, 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 dun. I just had that vision of crawling and trying to get out. So yeah, a very, very great song. Uh, what's the latest news with Breakthrough? I mean, I know you guys just got off of a lengthy, extreme tour, and I think one of the highlights besides you guys is uh, the, was it the orange juice chugging event? Oh yeah, Tampico <laughs> Challenge. <laughs> Anybody who's listening, look up the Tampico Challenge and just imagine that you were there and uh, make sure to come next year because, I don't know, that thing's fun. You were there. You saw it. I saw it. And I'm like, oh my gosh, that's yeah, that, that's a lot of chugging of orange juice. Yeah, I know. And Tampico's not the best either. <laughs> Tampico's like orange juice with more sugar than It's juice, like Tang. Remember Tang? Oh boy, I just ate myself. Do they still make Tang? I... Uh, <laughs> I don't know. All right, there's some young, there's, there's there's younger kids and you're is. not shaking their heads, so they do make tang. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> so any anyway, anything big coming down the uh, pipeline here? Yeah. Um. This December, hopefully this December, we're going to be recording another album. Um. Right now, everybody's so busy with work and school. Uh. We we tour as much as we can. We go on small weekend tours. We'll go out and uh, mostly play around Minnesota right now. And I know, um, we're going to be doing a lot of touring coming up this this summer this next upcoming summer and all we're all kind of doing individual music things so it's been it's been interesting to figure out what everybody does individually like me coming to different radio stations i played my first solo concert a couple months ago and then when we all come together all of those things we've learned individually and those leadership skills and that reaching out to people it just makes um, the together experience so much better what is the best thing about being on tour because the next question is, what's the worst part? I think I know the answer, but what's the best part of being on tour? I think the best, oh gosh, there are like three things that are even for me, but the best part, and it, it sounds like the worst part, and in some ways it is, but the best part is going out into places that I don't feel comfortable, and that I'm just dreading, oh man, I don't want to go out to this new city, and uh, a big thing about the Extreme Tour is going up and talking to strangers. Not necessarily saying, hey, we've got this concert coming up, uh, we really think you should go, but really getting to know strangers on the street. And there are some people who aren't comfortable with that. Um, but we've met I a lot of cool people that way. But that's what we're called to do. Yeah. We're called to go out, to go to these places that you are uncomfortable with. Yeah, so that's the thing that makes it the best is afterwards, I feel like, 
um, I was obedient to God's call, which is another big thing about uh, the extreme tour. They say the, the way that you know that you've succeeded is whether or not you were obedient to what God was telling you to do. Right. And so that's, I don't know, going out, you feel really uncomfortable at first, but then afterwards you've made all of these great friends or prayed for somebody or just um, helped somebody in a way. Uh, and it just, I can't even explain the feeling. I remember it was, it was a couple summers ago, um, again, going places where you feel uncomfortable. I kind of feel uncomfortable. Just to be honest, I'm very transparent. I sometimes feel uncomfortable around homeless people. Yeah. And um, being a part of this ministry, besides uh, selling uh, sponsorships, I also endorse, I'm, a, I'm an ambassador of the radio station. I'm an ambassador of Christ. Yeah. And I go sometimes to these places where I feel uncomfortable, but knowing I'm doing the right thing on behalf of Christ and on behalf of the radio station, I would go to the Dorothy Day House. And... And it just felt kind of uncomfortable, you know, being in that situation. I know what you mean. <laughs> but, you know, I'm bringing my KNLW cards. I'm giving them free coupons for food. And I'm just encouraging them, hey, you know, I know you're struggling right now. Things probably stink at the best. Yeah. Or at the worst. And I'm like, you know, if you have a moment, just tune in. There is good news out there. And there is a light. And his name is Jesus. And being an, an ambassador, a steward of Christ, you have to go into those places that make you uncomfortable yeah, and, and at the end of the day, sometimes it makes you a much stronger person, and uh, yeah, that that was one of the things that I had to come conquer, I guess, and to be a, a better ambassador of this radio station and with Christ. So I know how that goes. So getting to the second part of my question, the worst part. Um, I I don't know. This sounds like I'm just trying to make the extreme tour sound like the best. Well, it is actually one of the best things ever that I've ever done. Um, I can't think of many hard parts. I guess sometimes I had to uh, shower in the sink or wash my hair in the sink, you know, shave my legs in the sink. Um, really? Well, yeah, but I like that because it's, you know, it's kind of what you expect to do on tour. True. And it was a lot of sleeping on floors, so... I, that's uh, what's expected. Yeah, that's what's expected, sleeping on floors. And um, sometimes I would take the cushioned chairs that they have in churches and I would line them up all next to each other and use that as a bed. <laughs> So, I don't know, just maybe, actually, I think it's the packing up and unpacking all the time. The load up and the tear down was mm -hmm. probably my least favorite thing. I always ended up talking to people, so I guess I didn't do you as much with everybody of it. else. Yeah, sorry, that, guys. Out of all, you know, we do so many shows with so many professional bands, and that is probably one of the most taxing things. And people don't give enough credit to the volunteers, is set up and tear down. Yeah. You know, I think if people would recognize how much work actually physically goes into a show, I think out of respect, people would come to the show and they would buy their tickets in advance and not wait till last minute. Yeah. And Rochester is famous for that. They always wait till last minute to buy tickets and it drives me crazy. Just drives me crazy. If people would have any kind of respect for how much work goes into promoting a show, getting the show to come in, etc. There you go, guys. If you don't want Ken to go crazy, I I can't buy your afford tickets. any gray hair with my kids. That's just enough. So anyway, um, let's get back to the music. I'll get off the, the soapbox. <laughs> Um, let's just do one more song because I know I think we have another artist coming in. You can either do, how about we do one more uh, traditional praise and worship song? Oh, okay. Is that cool? Yeah, I think everybody knows this one. Um, after doing a lot of stuff that has to do with performance, I always have to come back to the heart of worship. Thank you so much, Catherine Medine hey, no from problem. the band Breakthrough for blessing us with your amazing voice, your amazing talents, and fun stories. Thanks for inviting me, Ken. You know, <laughs> that's what we're here for. And, uh, you know, uh, if folks want to get a hold of you guys, I know you guys obviously do the touring thing, but maybe if you guys want to do, go to certain churches and whatever, yeah. how can people get a hold of Breakthrough? Um, you can email any of us. Um, you can go to our, our uh, websites, BreakthroughRocks.com, and I think our emails are up on there, but um, our personal emails are just our first names and then at BreakthroughRocks.com. Again, uh, we appreciate the, the friendship that we've had, the partnership that you guys have had with KLW. You guys, again, have a just a huge future ahead of you. Thank you. And if you guys need anything, you know we're always here for you. Okay, well, I could use a donut, Ken. Well, there's cookies <laughs> over there. There are cookies there's out cookies there. There's cookies over there. There's some hot dogs, and you can take you get. Yeah, I don't you, actually need that stuff. I just wanted to come in and see you. Oh, well, thank you. I appreciate that. Thank you to the people that came to see you. Thank you guys for coming.